on a personal level, it, you made a great point because I feel like not a lot has changed because I'm creating music most of my time, you know? So I'd be out here writing, recording, and I might do a few social things here and there, go to some events, do shows and this and that. So it stopped the shows and a lot of the social stuff that I was doing. So basically it allowed me to lock in even further and really, really evaluate where I was at and just really push this creativity, setting myself up for the next year, you know what I'm saying? And I see even, like, I'll, I'll tell you an example on, on some personal tip. My mother, who lives in, lived, lived in Maryland, she moved back to Africa during COVID. Like, it's like ideas a lot of people got because since time stood still, people were able to evaluate themselves. However, me, I always looked at time differently from a lot of people. I'm, all, I'm the type of guy where it's like every day I wake up like, damn, I'm alive. I, I, I don't have to be here, so I got to make it count. So if you see, like, the amount of creativity, the amount of production and the amount of uh, music I put out there is because I don't think I'm promised tomorrow. So it's kind of like I was always already locked in like this, but this allowed me to lock in even further and it stopped a lot of distractions that I had from the outside. Well, hip hop, it, it, it did uh, culturally, it united a whole bunch of us, uh, you know, further like transcended race, transcended like generations, transcended, um, international borders and things like that and hip-hop on me oh, for me was always the news of the street like we're telling you the perspective from the street that's not through the the national education system that wants to turn us into workers for the elite so i think like artists like me and there's a lot of artists if you look at my mixtapes from 2016 and listen to still this mixtape one two three and four right 2016 and 2000, uh, 2018, I had four mixtapes. The covers, the first one was a black, a black young young man yelling at a police officer, and the second cover was like streets and riots in the back blowing up and two people with their fist in the air. So that's like three years before Floyd. So we know this stuff was going on. The fact that there was a, a quarantine in the spotlight and the and the and the event was so horrific. It wasn't the first time. We seen Mike Brown, we seen uh, Philando, we seen a, a lot of people get killed on camera. But this was like, especially brutal and the whole world was watching. And I think the fact that it's a good thing for people's awareness, you know, like it's not a good thing for what's going on, but it's time for people to wake up. And I salute artists and hip hop being a vehicle for us to talk about things like this. You know what I'm saying? Because I, like for me as an artist, I've been talking, I've been putting social commentary in my songs. I do a wide spectrum of things, but to me, that's an important point because we're living behind history. Like 30, 50 years from now, people are gonna really wanna know how people, how people like us were thinking by listening to our songs and see what we were going through. So we're living behind legacy and history.